The skill that um, we gain in slicing the watermelons is uh, the skill of uh, dispatching your enemy, which goes back to the uh, beginning of cavalrymen's skills. Those who wouldn't run would be in the way of the saber. First Troop Philadelphia City Cavalry is a throwback in today's National Guard. Keen to honor its revolutionary heritage, the unit still rides horses and practices tactics dating from its founding in 1774, even though they'll never have to use them in battle. It's expected that when you join the First City Troop, you will take riding lessons if you don't already know how to ride, and you can be someone that continues to preserve the cavalry skills. The armory was a stable, uh, and the most important piece of equipment that a soldier had, besides their weapon, was their horse. Among the skills showcased at a recent equestrian weekend in Westchester, Pennsylvania, rampaging through the enemy camp, pulling out their tent pegs with a lance. But the main job of cavalrymen has always been to whack enemy foot soldiers with a saber. Let the motion of the horse take you through the melon, and then come through and slice on the other side. Of course, you have to be able to steer. Oh, it was horrible, but actually it was good for a first performance. I used the polo mallet style to try and swing through the, the melons, and uh, it didn't work. And it's tricky if, like newcomer Greg Connell, you've never ridden before and have to depend on the kindness of strange horses. Never had a chance. With the enemy crushed, the troopers celebrate their victory. It too involves playing with knives.